And Smollett did not address the media tonight after the verdict, but we are hearing more from attorneys from both sides. And WGN Shannon Halligan is here with more of their remarks on this case, Shannon. Yeah, we heard from attorneys for Jesse Smollett, as well as the brothers who are accused of carrying out this fake attack. But Special Prosecutor Dan Webb said he took on this case that stretched on for nearly three years because of Chicago, the allegations of a hate crime by Smollett, and the impact it had on this city. What he did to this city and what he did to the Chicago Police Department never had a chance to put it in front of a jury and let a jury decide. Dan Webb, the former U.S. attorney, was assigned as special prosecutor in the case after Cook County prosecutors dropped initial charges against Jesse Smollett. Speaking after the verdict, Webb said Smollett wreaked havoc in the city for weeks on end for no reason whatsoever. 26 Chicago police officers spent 3,000 hours of time costing the city well over $100,000 for a fake crime that never occurred. And by the way, a fake crime that denigrates what a real hate crime is. Webb said his law firm took on the case pro bono and that the jury's decision proved that the special prosecutor's office made the right choice. If you're going to do this, then just do it for the public. I was asked for my firm to try to help restore the lack of confidence in the criminal justice system because what happened here? Still, after the 39-year-old former Empire actor was found guilty on five counts of disorderly conduct, attorneys for Smollett maintained he is innocent and would appeal the conviction. Unfortunately, that's not the route we wanted, uh, but sometimes that's the route uh, that you have to take to win, especially a case where we remain 100% confident in our client's innocence. Gloria Rodriguez, the attorney representing the Osin brothers, who admitted to helping Smollett stage the attack, said her clients were thrilled and pleased with the results, and she urged victims of true hate crimes to still come forward. To the victims of hate crimes, you are still victims of crimes. We support you, and you should know that you should have the courage to come out and report these crimes. Now, whether or not Smollett could be charged with perjury for lying on the witness stand, Webb said perjury charges generally do not happen after a defendant is convicted, but that it's not clear what would happen in this case. All right, Shannon, thanks for rounding all that up for us. We appreciate it. And you know WGN has been tracking the Smollett case from the beginning. We have more coverage on our website. You'll find it at WGNTV.com, and we'll be sure to bring you updates on the sentencing process as well when that gets going. You can get breaking updates as well through our WGN News app.